gosh. the channel is Kitty here I hope you're having a good day welcome back to let's play some small cats and dogs animal shelter episode 14 it's very Christmassy up in here today is the episode where we're gonna go we're gonna take Hazel and we're gonna take uh, Noel and Lucky and we're gonna go back to Hazel's childhood home and see all her family I'm super excited I was reading comments from the, no 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 girl you're not eating I was reading comments from the last episode and you guys told me that I should definitely pronounce Noel as Noel and not Noel like I did in the last episode um yeah I will do that and I'm also gonna change her name to be spelled n-o-e-l-l-e -L -L -E, so it's the girl version I guess no one touched this food no 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 oh my gosh Abigail this is not the time Toffee get Get out! No! Stop it! <laughs> Lecture about eating human food. Let go! This is the food. I plan to take this food to. Oh my gosh! I'm planning to take this food to the Christmas dinner and toffee. Oh my god! With that slimy mouth, get your slimy mouth out of our food! <laughs> oh my gosh! Just, just stop doing that and tell her right now. Give this to me. Put this. Go. <sighs> I don't even know. How do I even? What do I even do? Can you? No, stop eating. She didn't listen. Oh my gosh. I just spent ages making this food. Ah, oh, mean. Scold for jumping on counters. Friendly. Lecture about jumping on counters. I mean, as you can see, Toffee is sick and we need to take her to the vet clinic. Oh my gosh. She's so mad at us. But, like, just, just stop eating our food, okay? There we go. Okay, it's not... We'll just pretend that never happened. We won't tell her family. <laughs> Let's put that in our inventory. And can we... Yeah. We're also making some tofu tacos to take over. She doesn't know how to make, like, um, festive food. I don't even know if there is any in The Sims. Also, there is a lot of meowing and stuff going on. Oh, okay. No is in heat. Great. Perfect. But yeah, she was just, she's planning on making some food and then we're gonna head over there. It is like three o'clock right now. Oh, now you're just giving it to her. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, let's put this into her inventory as well. As I was trying to say, okay, let's just pause. Two things are happening. She's making some food. We're gonna go over to the farm where she grew up. We're gonna take Noelle and Lucky with us, which are the Christmas presents from her to her brothers, Ethan and Liam. So that's what we're doing. And then I plan on having like a nice Christmas dinner and spending the evening over there. And that's pretty much the plan. Um, we also need to take care of Toffee, but we, we're not doing that right now. There's too many things going on. Also, do we have any, like, points? How do you see that again here? How many? Okay, we have a lot of satisfaction points. So, I wanted to buy, like, the always welcome this thing. Always welcome Sims will act more at home when at others' residences and the host won't mind at all. I wouldn't get that just because we're gonna go over to the house. We're not gonna actually move my Sims, so I want her to be able to, you know do the things that she wants to do. Maybe, maybe we can even spend the night over here. I'm sure someone will come and look after our pets here. Um, they, have, they didn't add any new rewards from cats and dogs, which is a little bit disappointing, but let's get always welcome. We have a lot of points anyways. We're almost finished with our aspiration, so that's good. Let's put these in the fridge so we have some food for when we come back. I mean, I think we're good. We should probably mop that up because that is like a very big risk, like a fire hazard. Okay, we can't do that. So I'm going to go. I'm going to change Noel's name and then we're going to go. Oh my gosh. 
All right, here we go. So I'm gonna spell it Noel like that, which is the girl version. Also, lots of you guys said that maybe she is a golden retriever and Lab Labrador mix, which is which is a very good chance. But I'm just gonna keep it as mixed breed. It's the same thing anyway. So <gasps> let's go. She's also gonna bring them some dog beds and toys and food as part of her Christmas present. And I can't wait to see her family. We have not seen them since the first episode. Like the whole intro, oh my gosh. And we're gonna go back to where we first found Brownie wandering alone in the woods. We're definitely gonna take Brownie with us. So how about we hug her and pick her up and then we're gonna go. I don't think we are going to spay Noel in case they wanna make some puppies. So I'm gonna keep her on spade that will be okay maybe they will bring her by the vet clinic at some point to get her spayed uh which would be really really cool but let's pick up brownie oh, oh my god baloo are they barking at each other baloo what are you doing in here obviously once we come back we can take in a few more dogs <gasps> there's new doggies everybody oh my gosh but yeah we can take in a few more dogs once we come back because we will have more space in the household and for christmas i want to have a full household so we can feed as many pets as possible but here is samson who's very dirty and we have wally oh my god a super cute dog actually we haven't seen a dog like this yet and here's another one no way this one is adorable. What's your name? Um, Rosie. Okay. I wish there were small stray dogs, but there aren't for some reason. And I don't know if I'm able to add them. So that's okay. Someone is gonna, I'm gonna think that Abigail is gonna come over while we go to stay with our family for a day or two. And she's gonna look after everybody here. Maybe we should call her over as well so that she will be here looking after the animals. There we go, Abigail. You want to hang out at Karen Lodge? Can she do that while she's holding Brownie? I have no clue. Oops, didn't mean to press that key. Aww, love you, Brownie. But yeah, Abigail's gonna look after the animal shelter while we're gone. And it's gonna be all good. And we're gonna be back for Christmas as well. Okay, she's really loving Brownie right now. Okay, let's, um, let's call Abigail over so that we can be on our way. It is almost dinner time, so it's a great time to go. Go see our family. So, ooh, feel the love. And uh, let's pick Brownie back up. And then let's go. Abigail will be right over. Awesome, Abigail. We're leaving this house to you for the time that we will be gone. So let's go everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I have the, they actually live, they live now in Windenburg. <laughs> Here they are, the Everwood Farm. Oh my gosh, so let's go and let's take, um, we're taking Brownie, Lucky and Noel. And we're gonna leave Toby Socks and Sammy because otherwise it's gonna just get chaotic. So we're gonna take the presents. <laughs> The doggies who are gonna be the Christmas presents, best Christmas presents ever. And obviously we're taking Brownie because she is the OG pet, <laughs> as you guys know. Let's go, oh my gosh, back home, back where it all started. She grew up on this farm. She has spent her entire childhood here. She she fell in love with one of her brother's friends. friends. They had an amazing like relationship for, I would say, uh, like, six months or something until uh her boyfriend he uh, he met some other guys who weren't as nice and he got in bad company and he completely changed and he started acting all weird what the heck is going on here oh my gosh but yeah he didn't change for the better he changed for the worse and he started bullying people and it just broke her heart that he started being someone completely different and she broke up with him or he broke up with her i don't know it was kind of like a this shocking thing that happened and she didn't want to stay here she wanted to go to a new place she wanted to meet new people and she heard about all the strays in Brindleton bay which is why she moved and she hasn't been back since but we're back now i mean her brothers are her best friends they will always support her her, her whole family supports her so it's good to be back here oh my gosh but like what is what is what is her dad doing her dad is called noah by the way her mom is called jacqueline or jackie and her brothers are liam and ethan oh my god there's the mom what is she holding 
I don't even know. Oh, okay. Why are they all holding... Like, why are... What? What is going on with this family? Okay, she's holding a teapot sculpture. And he, when we spawn in here, he's holding... Um, icon, fine art sculpture. Well, hi, hi, dad. Let's give dad a hug. Look who we brought with us as well. Okay, he put it away. That's good. Let's give him. Nope, he still has it. What the? What is this? Since when are they just like molding like sculptures while they're just hanging around? Let's share a secret. I have also added the MC Command Center mod. I've never had it before, but we have it now. I don't know if it will add any new gameplay, but if we need it, it's here. You need a litter box? Okay. I guess we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to put down our Christmas presents. Wait, actually, we should go knock on the door. Uh, which one is set as the front door? That is the question. There's a lot of doors here. Excuse me. Oh my god. It's not like it's not like this thing. Oh my god <laughs> That's the front door. It's the little shed where her dad works. That's her dad's like woodworking shed And apparently that is the front door. So let's go knock on the door. Oh my god brownie Don't run away and uh, let's put down our Christmas presents. I think we should put that. This is Hazel's room up here. It hasn't changed much. I mean, this is where she grew up. I think we're going to put the litter box up in here since uh, her family doesn't actually have any cats. The litter box is just for Brownie while they are over here. So let's put down, uh, I don't know, this one. Sure, let's put that over there. And then for her brothers. So this is the brother's room. <laughs> At least this used to be their room. Um, but let's put one of the doggy beds over here. Uh, let me turn on move objects. There we go. There's one doggy bed. I'm planning on putting the other one down here if we can fit it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We don't really need that couch over there. So let's put a doggy bed over here for the other one. Oh, they're so cute. Which one do I want? That one's real cute. Oh my gosh, I haven't even thought about like which one... Which doggy is for which brother? Okay, we're gonna need to look at that in a second. And then let's go into the kitchen and let's put down some food bowls for the pets. Let's put them right here. So let's uh, get, let's see, let's get these ones in this black color. So two of these. Ah, uh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> we're just giving them all this stuff. But this is, this is what Hazel wanted to get for her family so here we go we've got those and then maybe some toys outside maybe in the backyard we'll put a little toy box over here here we go and i think that's it oh they could even have like some agility stuff because they have a really huge yard maybe we'll do like a ramp obstacle over here that could be cool and then these guys as well what are these called weaving poles okay uh let's put those down and then maybe a little hoop as well medium hoop short hoop tall hoop let's do the medium hoop so now if they want to they can teach their dog some agility which is really freaking cool but okay we've gone we've knocked on the door so where is everybody hello oh my gosh yes there is someone new here let's go say hi to what is he doing i don't even know Let's go say, oh my god, hi to Liam. Uh, Liam actually has has a new fiance. Uh, everyone, <laughs> meet Marissa. Um, they're in their sleepwear. What, what, what's been going on? <laughs> I don't know, but this is Marissa. They live here temporarily. They are looking oh, for boy. their new home. This is Liam. You guys have seen him before. So this is the oldest brother of the family. He's actually a lawyer and just recently he has met this lovely girl over here, Marissa, and they haven't even known each other for that long. Less than six months and he already proposed. So they're engaged. There is a new woman. Okay, so yeah. That's Marisa, and I'm I'm really excited for Hazel to get to know her and know what she's all about. She doesn't really look like she would suit this farm life, 
lifestyle, but <laughs> maybe she does. Let's do Anthea's about dogs. Liam, I've got, I've got something for you. So this is Liam and the other brother is right over here. So here is Ethan. He's one of my favorite sims I've ever made. He's just, he's just, he's everything. He's adorable. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking Liam and Marissa should take Noelle and uh, Lucky should go to my favorite sim, Ethan, over here. Sorry that I like obsess about my own sims, but it's just something I do. It's just a video game. But yeah, oh my god, we're here. It's so exciting. We're gonna have to go put the food down in a second, but I want to say hi to you our lovely brother as well they are both older than hazel but liam is like four years older than hazel and um ethan over here is only a year older let's go hug him lovingly as well and i want to introduce our ourselves to marissa over here i think it already oh let's do let's do a friendly introduction what are they doing? Okay, I don't even know what's happening. Oh, they're hugging. That's so cute. I want everyone wearing their Christmas jumpers as well. And where's our mommy? Hi, Ethan. Nice to see you. I miss you so much. Oh, they're like best friends. Like, they, when they grew up, they were super, super tight. Like, now she's moved away. They don't get to see each other as often. But they are still... They're still really, really good friends. So let's go brighten Marisa's day. And, oh, Abigail. If I want to go to her house, no, you're at the animal shelter, girl. <laughs> you're taking care of our animals. And can we infuse about dogs too? Uh, Ethan as well. Infuse about dogs. Let's do that. This house is just so big. There is so much going on. Can we see her other outfit? Hey, that's not her Christmas outfit. Okay, well... She does have a Christmas outfit, but apparently she's not wearing it now. Maybe I can get it. I want them to all be like cute Christmas dinner. Alright, she's gonna be just wearing that outfit. I think I'm gonna put go put the food down over here. So inventory. I want them to sit by this table though. I hope they will, but let's put this here in the middle. We made some mac and cheese. We also made some tofu tacos and I think that's a cute Christmas dinner. They don't really have many decorations, but that's okay. We decorated the house. Oh my god, our horsey! No way! Montana is here too. I totally forgot her horse. She absolutely loves her horse. So here is Montana. They also have a bunch of other horses here. They all love horses. And she grew up with horses. Here's their chickens and their pigs. Adorable. I just wanted to say hi to the mother. So let me locate her real fast. She's not over there anymore. Oh, cute. Okay, here they are. So here's Noah, Liam, and Jackie. So let's go... Let's go brighten her day and let's go give her a hug and then let's go eat. Let's go have the Christmas dinner. Uh, let's do, is there the hug lovingly? I would love to do that. Let's go hug lovingly because we haven't seen her. She doesn't, does she even know that we're here? I think it's kind of a surprise that we came over with two dogs for them as well. That's crazy. So let's go give our mom a hug. Here she comes. Oh, hi. Hi, mom. That's so cute. All right. Well, let's go. I think it's time to go eat. I also want to go fill at least one of these so that our pets also have something to eat. Where did Liam go? I would love to change her him into his Christmas jumper as well. Okay, here we are. Oh, hi. Well, that's cute. Um, let's go. Let's go call everybody to meal. Hopefully, we can all sit over here. That is what I'm hoping. So let's do sit together and hopefully. Oh, where is she going? Come back. <laughs> I want you guys to sit over here. Oh my God, Brownie! Oh, she wants some attention. I thought she was she wasn't gonna be jumping on the counters anymore. Well, we've got we've got most of them over here, and we got the doggies. Uh, let's go. Let's get to know Marissa a little bit more. What is she? What is she all about? How did they meet? Uh, is she excited about the proposal? I'm interested to know. And uh, let's eat some food, brownie. 
You're not supposed to be jumping on the counters. I think she's still looking for the litter box, but this is cute. And here comes the dog as well, and Brownie. Brownie needs some food, is there? Yep, there's some food over there. So, oh my god, hi! Cute! Charisma level three, awesome. Okay, well this is cute. I wish they were all sitting over here, but that's just never gonna happen in The Sims, is it? Especially when I can't control where they're sitting because I'm not playing as them. Oh my god, can we play like, can we play Christmas tunes on the radio? That would be perfect. There is a radio over here. Listen to, let's see, singer S. Bob is in there like a winter holiday. We need one in the kitchen as well. But we're almost done eating anyways. Uh, we're definitely gonna need to get Brownie a litter box down here too. She doesn't know how to go all the way upstairs. It is a huge house, so I don't blame her. Here we go, she should be okay now. There's a litter box over there. Oh, everybody's coming to hang out here in the lobby. Oh my God, a little bunny sculpture. What is this family and their sculptures? Well, they're all coming to listen to the winter holidays. Yay, oh my God, I love that music. That's so cute. And there's the piano. It's, uh, it's the dad who actually plays the piano. It's really, really cool. But we're gonna need to go to the toilet and where did we leave Brownie? I don't even know. Oh, here she is looking from the puddle. Um, can we lecture about begging for food? And then there was also lecture about drinking from puddle. Oh my gosh, she, oh, it's her, she peed there. Lecture about indoor potty. Well, it's not her fault. She didn't know where the litter box was, so. I can't blame her, but let's let's teach her. Wow, she's really interested about the music as well. This reminds me of when I was playing Parenthood and we were playing with a full household of eight Sims. And I've been playing with just one Sim for a really long time now, which is Hazel. And this reminds me, being over here with all these Sims and it's like quite chaotic. This reminds me of it and I'm really glad that we're not doing that anymore and that we're just focusing on like one Sim because it was getting really chaotic when there we had to take care of eight sims at once. Brownie has learned to not drink from puddles. Awesome, good job. I think this is so bugs. I don't know if it's the CC, something she's wearing, or if the game is just buggy, but they seem to like do things, like interact with the cats and the sims while they're not even close to each other, and it's really funny. But she's gonna finish her mac and cheese very, like, <laughs> seasonal Christmas food, that's okay. She's gonna go to the bathroom and then she's gonna go and introduce the doggies to her brothers. She's gonna show them off. And we're probably gonna spend the night here, sleep over here and then head back tomorrow. I think in the morning we could do some cute family activity like maybe this one, the horseshoe thingy or we could roast some marshmallows or something like that. I mean, marshmallows could be perfect to do now in the evening but let's see if we can just get her needs up a little bit here's marissa as well i think she's really cool but she doesn't it doesn't seem like she fits in here but i don't know i don't know i mean i'm sure there's some story to her and maybe we will find out eventually so oh my god cute okay yay that's adorable look they're already together look at little lucky he's like a little christmas present so let's go let's do a show of pet and show of lucky to ethan over there here we are he's already over here oh my god <laughs> ethan he's so chill she's like look Look what I got you! Oh my god, he's so nice! This is a Christmas present! Let's give him, let's give Lucky a hug. Looks like he also could use a bath, so maybe we shall do that. Yay! He gave it a thumbs up! Either should just became good friends with Hazel. Awesome, they're already best friends, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> And let's do, let's go give a bath. So we're not giving a dirty doggy to our brother. So that's cute. And then we shall introduce Noelle to Liam and Marissa. Hopefully Marissa is a dog person as well. 
Here we are in our Christmas jumper and bow, just having a bath, you know, just like any other day. Oh my god, we're actually gonna leave the doggies here tomorrow as well, and they're gonna be living with in like this amazing, like, look at this place. This would be the perfect home for dogs. Like, they could have 10 dogs and they would all be happy. I think that's that's lovely. Let's just uh, schedule this to be one hour so that they can have food a little bit more often. And then let's go over here and let's do show off pet Noelle. How, where is Noelle anyway? Okay, she's over here. Is she daddy too? I think she might be. So she's also going to be needing a bath. But Nibbler, I mean, sorry, I still want to call him Nibbler. It was such a funny name, but I think Lucky is better. You just get used to it after you've seen them for so long. But here we go. Let's go. Let's go talk to Liam. Here's our doggy, Noel. I mean, your doggy. Ooh, that Christmas music is loud. Is he also going to give Noel a thumbs up? Let's now change the volume to low. Like, look at this. What is she doing? Was she kissing Noel? Uh, let's give Noel a hug and a pet. Yay! Also, he also gave a thumbs up. That's awesome. I think they're gonna be really happy with the doggies. I think before everybody goes to bed, maybe we could go roast some marshmallows over here. I added another bench because for some reason it has disappeared. So let's go, let's go like this and see if for dessert on Christmas, that's kind of cute, Christmas roasting marshmallows. Not something I would do, maybe inside, but you know, it's snow here, so we don't usually have open fires. Oh my God, look at Lucky, he's doing it on his own. Oh my God, he's so talented. Let's go like this and, ooh, oh my God, oh my gosh. Okay, is she okay? Is she okay? Okay. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. She's very happy now, even though she just freaking caught on fire. Burned arm. Ouch, shouldn't try that again. I literally thought there was gonna be a fire. Oh my gosh. Let's do roast, uh, let's do hang out together. Come over everybody, if you're not sleeping. And let's do some marshmallows, marshmallow roasting. I think that could be cute. Uh, then we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow we are gonna move the... Oh my god, who's over here? What's this? Oh my god, oh, it's the freaking statue. I was so confused. They're just everywhere here, but yeah. Tomorrow we are going to move Noel and Lucky into this household. They're over there all playing. That's so cute. They're all enjoying this. We should like invest in some for the animal shelter since the dogs clearly enjoy doing it. I'm not sure if they're playing or if Brownie is not liking this, but that's okay. Here we are. I mean, Liam came to hang out with us. Uh, so let's uh, let's brighten his day. This also needs another log before he completely dies out. Where's everyone else? Well, at least we have our brother. I mean, this is a good opportunity to ask him. He didn't tell us about Marissa. This was a complete surprise. Because we, you know, they haven't been able to talk as much recently and she is closer with her other brother, Ethan. So she had no idea. Liam was engaged. Obviously, she's going to be wise at the wedding, but I don't think they're planning on getting married just yet. But she's trying to, she's trying to find out the deeds <laughs> from her brother. Where did they meet and what inspired him to already propose? But I think he's being a little bit... A little bit not wanting to tell everything. <laughs> Maybe he's embarrassed about something? I don't really know. The rest of the family doesn't seem to be coming around, but that's okay. She's finding it really, really funny. Um, where's that brownie? Okay, okay. She's, she's not the biggest fan of dogs, I don't think. But I have seen The Sims. Some of the cats and dogs get along super well. How about these two? They're barking. Oh my god, Lucky, you don't need to look so scared. It's all okay. Okay, well, hopefully no one's setting on fire over here. Yep, we're good. All right. We got our time with our brother. I think I was off to bed. It is 3 a.m. What? I did not realize it was 3 a.m. So how about we go sleep? Wait, what? This is, excuse me, girl. This is not your bed. This is our bed. Marissa, get the heck away from our bedroom. Okay, we're coming to wake her. 
Girl, go sleep with your new fiance. Get off from our bed. Oh my gosh. Abigail, no, no, no. You're supposed to be looking after the doggies. Anyways, this is our old bedroom. Really, really cute. So we're going to go to sleep here and we'll catch up again in the morning. All right, here we are. It's 8 a.m. I think it's time to get up maybe get some breakfast her parents are just waking up i did want to give noelle a bath as well oh wait she's over here uh she's definitely gonna need a bath maybe we should give her a treat as well she seemed a little bit hungry so let's go give her a big treat and then we will give her a bath before we give her over we want her to be all squeaky clean Oh my gosh, she's so cute though. I'm definitely gonna miss Noelle and Lucky. They're both adorable dogs, but new strays are appearing all the time. I cannot believe how many strays are in Brindleton Bay. So I'm just excited that they're getting new homes. Also, I have no idea how long this episode is. I feel like it's very, very long. What the heck? Aren't these look like they're burned? But yeah, sorry about that. But it's like a little Christmas special going back here. If you guys want us to come back here more often, let me know. We're definitely going to be hanging out with her brothers a little bit more. I think that is important. Keeping in touch with your family and she loves her family. So we're going to be seeing them more often. Hopefully we don't run into her ex, but that might happen. So let me know in the comments your thoughts. And ooh, now she's wearing her Christmas jumper. Well, Good of you, Marissa, to get in the Christmas spirit the next day. But, you know, better late than never. How cute is that jumper? And here is <laughs> Ethan as well. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're giving a bath to Noel. And then we're gonna, we're gonna give the dogs over. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Much better. She's all clean now. A different color even. <laughs> She's gonna get us all wet. So we're gonna pet her. And then we're going to move her over. Oh my gosh. And get along with Lucky. I think uh, Noelle and Lucky are going to be good friends as well. So, And then once Liam and Marissa find their new forever home, they're going to take Noelle with them. And that's really exciting. And there we go. We have officially given Noelle and... <laughs> lucky new homes over here in Hazel's childhood home. I think they're gonna be loved. I think they are also going to love it here. There is so much space to run around and play. What's so dirty in here girl? Oh okay it's all of this so maybe oh my gosh she's taking a picture a selfie with her dad on Christmas like it's, it's not Christmas Day yet, it's a few days until Christmas, so that's super cute, a little Christmas selfie. Maybe we'll even invite him over to the animal shelter once we're having our Christmas dinner party over there. Who knows, but let's clean up and then I guess we're gonna be heading home. Gonna say goodbye to everybody and goodbye to the doggies as well. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, I wish they got along a little bit better. I think they're friends, I think they're just playing. I mean, ooh, okay. She is still in heat. Hopefully they don't mate. That would be that would make some interesting looking puppies. But they're super cute in their Christmas jumpers. I'm excited. And yeah. Let's hug the rest of our family goodbye. I mean, let's head back to the second chances animal shelter. So bye Liam. It was really, really nice to meet your new fiance. Marissa, I hope you two are happy together and I hope to see you two more often and take good care of Noelle for me. And then let's go hug hug goodbye to our mother Jackie as well. Oh, where's she gone? I don't know. We're gonna go find her. Look at these statues everywhere. This family is obsessed. There comes Noelle as well. We're gonna say bye to them. Oh my gosh, it feels it feels like a bit sad, but I'm also very, very happy. So Let's go say bye to our mommy and then lastly we're gonna have to say goodbye to Ethan as well who is like our one best friend. Oh my god he's hanging out with Brownie so let's go talk to him, let's go make some funny faces and gossip and let's go give him a big hug and then let's head back home. Bye, Ethan. See you again soon. Very soon. I think she's going to invite him definitely over for Christmas dinner. Take care of Lucky as well. I think you two are going to be happy together. Let's go give Lucky a hug and then let's actually go home. I know I've been saying let's go home for the last 10 minutes, but let's actually go home now. Oh, 
Chucky Chucky likes Lucky Lucky as well. That's really, really good. Because Ethan does live over here, by the way. He is going to, like, take over the farm. That's what he wants to do. Once the parents get, like, too old to take care of everything, he's going to be the one to take care of the farm and make sure all the animals are okay. That's what he would love to do. So, bye. Bye, Lucky. Have a nice life here. And we'll see you again hopefully very soon let's go all right we're back home and i'm gonna leave the episode here we actually only have one dog now sammy is our only dog so in the next episode i want to take in as many streets as we can to fill the household for christmas and then find them all new homes we're gonna have to take toffee also to the vet clinic to cure her and find her a new home as soon as possible still reading your guys's comments on who we should give toffee to so Feel free to let me know down below in the comments and who you think we should take in for Christmas. Probably some of the ones who have been around for the longest time. We're just making sure Socks is doing okay, giving him a little treat. And I believe we're going to go take Sammy for a walk. Now that he is our only dog, we might give Sammy over as well. And I'm also not going to give Hazel any money for giving Noel and Lucky to her brothers. Since it was a Christmas present, they didn't actually pay the adoption fees, but we're gonna go for a walk now. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for another video and later for the next part of Let's Play Cats and Dogs Animal Shelter. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye.